health is wealth. It is indeed a comfortable possession, says Swami Shivananda. When we are healthy, our body, mind and emotions are in balance. When we trace the origin of diseases, it leads to nutritional deficiency. A nutrient is a substance used by an organism to survive, grow and reproduce. I am Nandan Krishna, Aditya and Sumadva from 9C Vijayotala Vidya Shala, Mysuru. We are going to highlight the importance of nutrients and present an algae which has all the major nutrients in it. Yes, it is pyrulina. It can be cultured in broth, fresh water and salt water and nutrient dense food for our rescue. Insufficient amount of nutrients can lead to nutritional deficiency. Now, my friend Aditya will continue to explain about spirulina. Good day to everyone. Myself Aditya V from Vijay Vidala Vidya Shala, Mysuru. Here to tell more about spirulina. Spirulina is a blue green algae that grows both in salt water as well as fresh water. We can say that spirulina is one of the most nutrient dense food on earth. Spirulina is extremely high in nutritional values. A tablespoon of spirulina contains, that is, 7 grams of spirulina contains vitamin B1, B2, B3, copper, iron, and decent amounts of magnesium, potassium, manganese, and all small amounts of nutrients that your body needs for your health. Beside all these, spirulina is a fantastic resource of inflammatory properties and it contains antioxidants also, which can prevent us from various oxidative damages. The main component of spirulina is called phycosanin. This antioxidant gives the spirulina its unique blue green color. This is the sample of spirulina. It requires a water medium to grow. So that firstly, we have added some NPK, fertilizers, copper and rusted iron nails so that it will be multiplied faster. After the setup is ready, you need a device that keeps the water in motion. This is the smaller version of culturing of spirulina. It takes place in larger version in CFTRI. We have fixed a motor that keeps the water in motion. This will increase the aeration, hence spirina will be multiplied faster. After two weeks, you can collect spirulina by filtering it in a nylon cloth. After you collect the spirulina from the nylon cloth, when you observe in a microscope, the spirulina will look like this. We can prepare many products using spirulina like spirulina capsules. This is the capsule we consume for our health. We can even prepare spirulina powder, spirulina face bag and many more products. Beside all this, many sports persons consume this because it contains nutrients which builds their muscle. Mimicking western food and western lifestyle has been hi-fi lifestyle nowadays. But our own Indian meal can't be compared with the present junk food which can cause many deadly diseases like HPV, heart attack, diabetes and many more. Western food are characterized by overconsumption and lack in variety of food. Whereas our Indian thalis are rich in nutrients and have variety of food items. The Western food concentrates more on sugar, salt and fat rather than concentrating on what our body needs for our good health. Whereas our Indian thalis represent a food pyramid which contains all the nutrients that our body needs from carbohydrates, proteins to fats. Our Indian thalis are complete package for good health. Since our lifestyle has been as fast as metro, we have shifted from thalis fast food like burger, sandwich, shakes etc. But our own Indian thalis can't be replaced by the any western food. Now, my friend Sumadva will continue to explain about the web application that we have done for our public. To create an awareness on various health issues, we have created a website where a person can gather more information about a particular disease or disorder of different organ systems of our body. I would like to share about the information available in this website regarding the most common heart diseases. To know about this, you need to click on heart and kidney. It gives a bird view of cardiac diseases. Here you can go through symptoms, reasons required for heart diseases. Now let us know about one more common diseases. For example, formation of kidney stones. 
it will help you know about the symptoms effects and the suitable diagnosis and treatment for the cure of the disease In this website we have dietary chart exercise prescript for good health and good life now my friend nandan krishna will conclude with this topic nearly 189 million of people in india that is 14% of the population is suffering from malnutrition that is where our aim lies providing nutrient rich food to every corner of the country abolishing malnutrition if this website is implemented by the government it can lead to a healthy population resisting diseases as said by our prime minister narendra modi atmanirbhar bharat which can achieve any desired goal in the future thank you all